Morning everybody. It's another new day. We're in Brainerd, Minnesota. I am at my customer. I have to deliver the lumber that I tarped on my trailer yesterday. I'm going to quickly get this off and we've got a rounder to do. We're in a bit of a hurry. When aren't we in a hurry? We are truckers. That, that by we, I mean me and all of you. You're all truckers now. You're all honorary truckers, especially if you've been watching me for the past 12 years. If you haven't and you're new here, welcome here. You're all welcome. Go down below, hit that subscribe button. We make new videos all the time. You can see what the life of a trucker is like. What life of trucking is like through my eyes. Everybody has a different story. This is my story. I'm glad you're here. Stick around. I'm going to get this off my trailer and then we're going to head up to Thief River Falls. I've got a load to pick up there. We're going to bring that up to Manitoba in Canada near Winnipeg and then we're going to head empty over to Kenora, grab another one of these tomorrow and come back down. So it's a little loop, little loop to do. Okay, I've got a rush here though, okay? So I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. Real quick though, this is the load I have on me. Special lumber, has to be tarped. So let's get those tarps off. to Thief River, back to our yard, back to Kenora. It should take about nine hours or so, nine to 10 hours. So this is one of those places where we get unloaded indoors. It's a beautiful day outside, so it doesn't really matter if I would get unloaded outdoors today, but it's really nice in the winter time. You don't have to roll up your tarps and stuff in the cold. And now that the trailer's empty, I don't want it anymore. I don't like it as much. Eh. There's another trailer waiting for us over there. The Thief River. It has some stuff on it, way better, way better. It's a good trailer, nothing's wrong with it. Runs well, runs smooth. No issues with it. I just like it better when there's stuff on it. So three, three and a half hours, somewhere in there. We're gonna grab fuel and pillager first. Just down the road from here. We'll be on our way. Just telling the powers that be that I am unloaded, that I am empty so that we are all on the same page. We all know what's going on. Trevor Josh has an empty trailer behind him. And he doesn't like that. He doesn't like empty trailers behind him. So he's going to go pick up a loaded one now. Oh, and I got to send a message to ask what uh, trailer I'm supposed to pick up. One second here. Which trailer am I grabbing? Come on, autocorrect. What What trainer am I ha having? What? Which trailer am I Grabbing in thief? Question mark. Send. Fantastic. I'll get that info sent through to me right away. We're ready to rock. Okay, so now unloading was the first part of the day. Now that part of the day is over, our day can officially begin. 
Where's our trucker hat? Can't go trucking without a trucker hat, come on. And we're off. Because usually the way I see it is wherever the main pump is, like there's a main pump and there's a satellite pump, the main pump is usually on the driver's side, I think. And right now, the way I came in this way, it's on the passenger side. But there's no sign saying which way to come in. And I've seen both, like I said, so we're, we're doing it this way today. There's no one else here. We'll, we'll be in and out. We'll get out of here before anybody even notices. All right, don't tell anybody. All right, I just moved forward here to do some paperwork. Looks like we averaged about 6.43 miles per gallon. Not too bad. This truck is usually between uh, six and seven. Anything below six and I get a little bit, uh, I don't like that. 6.4, that's a really good number. Fueled up for 167 US gallons. Turn right. 
638 liters. And it worked out to, uh, what was it? 36.57 liter, uh, liters per 100 kilometers. truck stop there with more parking if I go all the way to Kenora there's very limited parking I could park at that co-op uh, down in town there closer to the lake uh, or the Petro Pass but we're not supposed to park at the Petro Pass overnight even though people do it all the time nothing ever happens to them as far as I know but there are signs up that we're not supposed to but you know it's not gonna harm me getting to my destination tomorrow if I stay in Manitoba, or even at the rest area, just in Ontario. I could probably stay there too. Yes, yes. Oh, we have options. We'll figure it out as we go. For now, I'm just, we're gonna get through the border here, 
get rid of this trailer. We're gonna grab another empty step deck if we can find a good empty step deck. We can take a flat too if we have to, but I, I prefer step decks. They seem to ride smoother, at least ours do. They ride smoother and uh, you can you can haul more types of freight, right? You can haul higher freight because the, the deck is lower. It's easier to tie loads down because again, the deck is lower. Maybe that's just me. Trailer 108 DB is our new friend. Third trailer of the day. That's a good one, I think. I told you I was gonna keep you up to date on these tires. And I have an update. Okay, this inside rear driver side drive was the one that had a flat. I'm gonna need to get a flashlight to show you what I'm talking about though. To bring you up to speed on a little bit of what I'm gonna show you here, that tire is wearing down way faster than all the others now, suddenly, since I had that flat. I realized though, that the tire guy, when he patched it, he installed the tire the other way on the rim. The way it was rolling forward before is now rolling the other way, right? So the tire itself is rolling the other way than how it was broken. That's the only thing I can find that's different. And suddenly, just on this trip, it has been wearing down fast, like crazy. All right, check this out. All the other tires have about the same tread as this, right? But this tire, can you see the difference? again out there and this just happened recently on this trip since this tire was patched and turned and turned around so it was broken in the other way and then it was installed the other way but it's it's not a directional tire so that shouldn't matter right What? What's going on? Why would one tire be wearing faster than the other ones? Well, we can go around to all the other ones here too. These ones haven't worn down that much, right? It's just this one. You can see that those lines have been worn right down. You see that? Strange. What's going on? What could possibly be the cause of that? It has to be something to do with that tire patch because that's when it started. And I almost, it, it looks like one edge of the tire is worn down quite a bit too. That would have been the inside edge before that was getting worn down. So now that it's flipped around, that inside edge is on the outside. And I'm guessing the tire wore a little crooked and now it's wearing flat the other way. So it's Okay, we get it. We know you're coming. I'd honk back at it if I was in the truck. Wow. That's quite excessive, isn't it? There must be something on the tracks. I wonder if there's like a deer or a moose or something on the tracks. They don't usually honk that much. Whatever. So. In the comments section, I'd love to hear you guys, what you guys think. What, what is your opinion? Why would one out of eight tires be wearing down so fast just after it being flipped when it was patched? Non-directional tire, it shouldn't matter which way it turns on the, on the wheel. I have to keep my eye on it. <laughs> That's strange, it's really strange. I trust there's gotta be some tire experts watching my video right now that could let me know why that would happen and what I can do to possibly fix that. Like, do I need a rear axle alignment again? I just got a three axle alignment done last year. Do I need to do that every year? Should I do it again? The, the other tires all seem to be wearing just perfectly. Even all the back tires, other than that one, just that one. So do I need a rear axle alignment? What would you guys say? I'll be down in the comment section hearing what you experts have to say and all you armchair experts, all of you take all of your advice. Let's go see if we're straight. We parked here in Prada, Manitoba. Huge unit, so I don't really 
blind and like, look at that thing. So you guys be the judge, all right? Am I straight? Let's look at it from here. full-time job just keeping up with all these LEDs, you know? Why do you gotta make it so tough? So we'll stay here for our 10 hours so that we're legal to cross into the U.S. We're going to have some fun trucking tomorrow again. I hope you join us. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog today. Hope you had fun. Come join me tomorrow. We're going to do it all over again. i got to go back down to Minnesota. And then we'll see where to from there. Probably back home. Maybe we'll do the same rounder again. I don't know. It'll be different because it'll be tomorrow. And not today. Each day is different. That's the beauty of this job. Every single day is different. Be safe out there. People are crazy. Keep your head up, keep your stick on the ice, and drive safe out there.